All right, so this is a quick video. Safe sex here, practicing safe sex when you're gay. First of all, according to my sources, officially, before two men try to have sexual intercourse, they have to give themselves a chloronic irrigation. A chloronic irrigation is when you shoot water up your anal cavity, up into your anus, and let all of the, um, <clears throat> The fecal matter drop out of your bottom. So, if you do know people that are gay and you want them to practice safe sex, I'm talking about young people, innit? This is what you have to tell them, innit? Because at the end of the day, people are going to love who they love and they're going to feel for who they feel for. Whether that's right or wrong, you know, it's got nothing to do with us or anybody else, innit? It's got to do with let's make them safe, let's make them do the thing safe, innit? Yeah, and you're meant to use condoms and that. But before you have any type of anal interaction, you must wash out your bottom. So when your man comes home from the dance and he's talking about, babe, babe, yeah, no. Because you ain't trying to wash out your bottom. I know you're not doing none of that. And if you are that type of person, then that's what you have to do in it. That's why it keeps infections down. Right. How do I know? Because obviously I know people and I talk to people, bro. I talk to enough people, you know, and my sources tell me that that's what they have to do. So, I'm coming to tell my gang gang the minute because I don't know who's watching me. And if you're watching me, big up yourself in the real life. You get me? If you're gay, people need to mind their business because it's not hard. It's not easy to take wood in your bottom. It's not. And you got to train your bottom. You can't just be thinking, oh, you're going to just do it, do it. You can't do it. Mm -mm. You have to train your body, oh. Yes, you have to train your anus into stretching. I don't know how you do that yet, but sometimes people use things like them toys and stuff. I don't know, innit? But you got to go slow. You can't just do it fast. It's going to hurt. Yeah. you got to ease yourself into it. So for me, yeah, right? We'll see. 777. I'm telling you how to do it safe, innit? Yeah. If you're going to do it, do it. But be safe, bruh. Mm. Stop telling people that God is wrong. Stop telling people that the Most High is wrong. The Most High put them here for one reason, you know. Oh, that the Most High don't know what the Most High is doing. People must mind their business. I'm telling you, if it wasn't for these gay people, we wouldn't even have antibiotics. I'm telling you, with my chest, my old chest. I'm telling you, you wouldn't have no antibiotics. No, we know about coal. And, and whooping cough, and maybe skin rash. We don't know about these things, eh? So if it wasn't for them, certain people can talk, say, but them won't talk, say. But all I know is that as soon as I move to here, that's when they start telling me up in their Wales, they talk about sheep shagging, yeah, right? So these things must come from them, the people there. And if it was happening where we dead, where we there, then them did dead from what they did catch from the sheep shagging or the 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 the, 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 doo -doo 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 the animals them yeah they dead isn't it why not you're not meant to interact with animals like that the poor animals them animals should have give you a ass kick kiss anyway but, <laughs> but, but my point is yeah i tried to stay stay english but not but my point is yeah is that yeah it's not easy it's not easy. Mind your business and leave people alone. And if you've got any information to give to people here, yeah, give them information that's going to keep them safe and sound and not infection-free. That's what. Safe, sound and infection-free. Yeah, no infections for them. Let's take off your act to them and say, thank you for the antibiotics and the penicillin and the amoxin and all of them things there. Yeah. Yeah. What do you get? Does it trichomonis? When your man wants to push from the f back to the front, trichomonas is what you get, yeah. And you've got 13, 14, 15, 22 people. They don't know these things. So if you watch me and you don't watch anything else, this is something you need to watch for real. No back to the front business. Don't let nobody put it in your bottom and then pull it inside your, your hole where you push that baby. Don't make them do that because you'll get trichomonas, yes. Yes, and you'll start spitting that white stuff. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And if you sleep with man, with sleep with man, you'll get this special type of gonorrhea that is they inside their sperm. Let me put on my slippers anyway. This is meant to be quick and I've been going on for nearly five minutes now because it is serious. So if you're gay and you want to have sex properly inside of your anus, wash out your bottom first. You can do it with a plastic bottle as well. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Was I dead? No. 
No, was I in the same house? Yes. Yes. Mind your business, isn't it? Just mind your business. <laughs> you get me? Ask me no questions, I'll tell you without lies. It's better. If you ask me, I'll tell you, but you get me? You can use a plastic bottle with the squirty, squirty thing at the, the top piece, yeah. Wash out your bum first and you don't get infection. I don't know if you don't get infection, but you know what I mean. You know what I'm trying to say. You don't get doo-doo on you. Jesus. Laters. <laughs> no doo-doo. <laughs> So we'll see, how do we do without the doo doo smell? Wash out your body first, yeah? Mm. Big up yourself. <laughs> bye bye.